of the Bible is in Scooby-Doo. Guaranteed. Okay, let me show you what the first thing was that opened up when I opened up Susie's uh, channel. When I clicked on it, it said, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed. I'm going to show you right here. Let me go backwards. This, so right here, you can type this into into uh, the YouTube search. This is the channel right here. It says Susan Harless. And um, she's got some of my stuff already posted. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uploading and putting very short videos on her channel. What's really weird is uh, this kind of came about today as, an, as a way to... Hang on one sec, guys. I'm having a little trouble getting out of this. Hang on one sec. Ah, what's going on? As a way to stay busy while everything's uploading, I can go and put up some shorties while I'm waiting for everything to render. I could be doing three or four little shorties on just bullet points for people. Anyway, so I thought it was a really good idea. So, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do a little article. I opened up Susie's uh, channel of the Bible is in Scooby-Doo. Guaranteed. Okay. Let me show you what the first thing was that opened up when I opened up Susie's uh, channel. When I clicked on it, it said, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, Who seeth us, and who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be Google esteemed News. as a potter's uh, There's a breaking That's story Isaiah out of 29. North Carolina, and I'm going to go over kind of a, explain why I think that it's uh, – the 2022 is really off to a crazy start. So uh, code name Robin Sage is a, essentially a, a war game <clears throat> that they are playing in North Carolina. And apparently they're going to be using rural, uh, rural uh, property, private property, and they're going to be drilling. And get this, as it's described, young soldiers is, is our forces versus the enemy, which is uh, apparently uh, seasoned, uh, seasoned freedom fight fighters. Uh, so what does that sound like already, right? And it's going to be a guerrilla warfare exercise in the woods called Robin Sage. So apparently there have been a few of these. And it, if, in fact, if you look up Robin Sage uh, together, you'll find some interesting things. In fact, a certain crowd will, you know, quite trip literally over uh, some of the stuff that it describes over Robin Sage. Uh, but right now, the timing of it is, is pretty, uh, pretty perfect, right? As far as Robin Sage, it says that they're... Uh, I mean, if you're going by that timing. Essentially, they're taking young soldiers versus civilian, uh, almost militia. It sounds like they're, they're going up against militia in a wooded scenario. So pretty, pretty interesting. And then when you look up Robin Sage, you'll see the rest. Uh, we'll, we'll make some... Yeah, like if you look at my back of my house, it's like a wooden, a little short, small little wooded area. Links on marfuglenews.com so you can go find the rest. Uh, this was <clears> kind of buried, actually, in the North Carolina, or the Charlotte Observer, so I believe. Today. So I believe that uh, more people are going to start covering this if they're not already. Um, I was Six pretty surprised that it's ago. not even front page news in the Charlotte Observer. It's, it's Dude, you know, Robin in the back Sage's of it. Uh, so another thing that I learned about this is they have had, they've had ones like this under this code name before, and uh, somebody was even shot over it. Uh, a sheriff or a police officer apparently detained a civilian that was participating in it uh, all the way back as far as 2002. So I don't know exactly what this is, but it did sound extremely strange. And that the fact that it is essentially sounds almost like a Jade Helm type scenario. Uh, and uh, again, this is something that they've told the neighbors that uh, they should be aware that there will be live fire and that there will be uh, possible flares in the sky. So pretty crazy. So I thought I would let you guys know on top of everything else. Obviously, I just did a video on uh, the full, full ground stop. Uh, more and more information is coming on that. And uh, of course, I think that, you know, not going to tell us the full truth on that. Uh, but I would definitely have all of your ducks in a row. Make sure to go to marfuglenews.com if you want to go and see all the links that we're going to be posting there. Uh, hospital visits. I have, uh, apparently have some more internal bleeding. So I'm just going to go get right. that checked out. And then, uh, of course, we will be on, as far as I know, normal time on Marfugal TV tonight. So, all right, guys. Have had that scary dream where your teeth are falling out. And you wake up horrified. It's a terrible feeling. And you think to yourself, what could it possibly mean? And you I'm actually in between hospital visits. I have... Uh, Apparently have some more internal bleeding, so I'm just going to go get that. Teen. Now look right here is Isaiah 57, verse 4. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Against whom do you make a wide mouth and draw out your tongue? 
Are you not children of transgression? A seed of falsehood. Okay, that's, that is the scripture that the Lord gave me to show you when people go, I have, by the way, just looking you right in the eye, do you know how much I have that happen to me? Where I'm talking to someone, they look right at me and they go, because the spirit that's running them is in my presence knowing who I am. And that, let me tell you something. If you think that's not biblical, you haven't read your Bible. The Bible had no sin. Now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no other man did, they had had not sin. Find this in just a sec. Yep. Neither let them that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Get it? Over mm -hmm. me. Stands Neither let them wink you. with the eye to pinch partially to bite the lips, blink the eyes as a gesture of malice. Okay. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without a cause. So no matter what anyone says, the Bible says, Neither let them wink the eye that hate me without a cause. And anybody that is in that position, they'll fulfill that because it's true. Obviously, what I do it, I'm just joking with Johnny because I don't have any malice or evil intent in me. No matter what anyone says, the Bible says, Neither let them wink the eye that hate me without a cause. I have a good friend of mine. I've grown, um, I'm known for a long time when I used to be in, um, hang around very dangerous people. He winks at me all the time. And he's the last guy you would really want to mess with. Yeah. He, I mean, yeah, he winks at me all the time. I still know him to this day. I still am friends with him to, to a to to a degree more cordial when i see him it's hey johnny hey hey i'll keep his name out of it but anyway he winks at me all the time and i noticed that once i got converted boy there was a huge difference in our relationship okay now huge difference in our relationship okay now ready this is what the short series is going to be about i'm going to take a biblical concept like i just did Jesus said in John 15, and this bring it to pass, what is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. Logic. What would that opposite tribe be? What 341? It means hating an adversary, an enemy, a foe. Right here. See it? Now, let's go to the root of the word right here, Hebrew word 340. Let me show you where it comes from. It means as one of an opposite tribe. Well, let me ask you a question. Let's just do some logic. What would that opposite tribe be? What's opposites? Angel and a demon. So who is the opposite tribe of Jesus? So if Jesus said, this bring it to pass what is written in their law, who's, who's they? Woe unto them who go to great depths to hide their plans from the Lord. They, 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 they. they. They, they, if you start from up to down, up, down,
carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know it. <laughs> Nobody can see what's going on. Who see it? Well, it's in the landscape. So the landscape kind of gave it away. Just to clarify it. And if you can see it from the sky, then... Then report the matter. My, my father told me to report the matter. And... Show everybody that you found the key. You know, they, they carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they are doing. They turn everything upside down. Well, there's also two of they. There's two of they because there is two. One there and one there. Two serpents. There are three sea creatures and Israel is down here. So Jacob this represents that make a, a landscape a smaller version of the Bible where all nations will flow unto it all these nations who's that Esau Satan and his army from the pit right so here we have Psalm 35, 19. Neither let them not that are mine enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. 19. The word enemies, it means a hating adversary. As one of an opposite tribe. That is pure gold right there, guys. That is absolutely pure gold. So when someone's winking at you, hey, Johnny. How you doing? Like Alex, right? That's how I knew Alex would draw a picture of me with the dead sheep. Well, we had to be the serpent race. Because we have the serpent race and the sheep race. That's what the whole Bible's about. The whole thing is the serpent race against the sheep race. Who's the devil? The serpent. The dragon. Who's, who's Jesus? The lamb that was slain from the foundation of the world. Who's the whole fight against then? The lamb against the serpents. That's it. So in this system, there's Jesus that is really representing them, the, the people from the inside, and then there's the other, the other, the serpent race, and um, and Jesus comes after them, he wins in the end, but Jesus considers another spirit on earth as someone that has the Father spirit, so he would look at someone as the Father, but being Jesus, he's coming after in this entire end time script that's almost fulfilled. He's coming after those. So I thought this before. Is it all just scripted out and where everybody knows the end from the beginning and everybody goes and eats dinner together and they hang out and it's just one big WWE wrestling show. People really love each other behind the scenes. They're, they're not really viciously uh, killing people like that. Because people do things voluntarily. Like the host body, the, the murdering, and the, they, they voluntarily went for it. So was it... Like, is somebody going to save the world? Would it be somebody that can rule the world in order to save it, make it look like it's going to get destroyed, but then steps in and saves it? Or just completely destroys it, and we're all going to die? I've wondered that. And can you have any say in it? So three, four years ago, I think there was a lot more anger than there was 
that I felt with people against me, I felt a lot of anger. But then I felt a different shift for more people, at least understanding my side. But there's, you're always going to have people that just, they, they're, they have their own mindset with that spirit that runs them, and that's the only way that they're going to go. And that's it. But I feel like at this time, there's the leaders are all in cahoots. And we're at the end of it. And then at the, at the very end, the show's over and you meet everybody. What do you think in ancient Egypt before they left, before they got to leave on Passover, what did they do? They put the blood of a spotless lamb on the doorpost and over the lintel. A lamb to free him from ancient Egypt. Who were those guys? Let me show you a picture of those guys. So let me just make my point using some images. So here's Tutankhamun right here, where with his headdress on, and here's a cobra. Man, am... Do you notice a resemblance between the way the headdress is on a pharaoh and a cobra? Yeah, they're making the pharaoh look like a cobra, like a human snake. That was the point of making their headdresses like this. There's Yul Brenner and the T. There's a vulture and a serpent. So what does the vulture represent? Death. What about the serpent? The race that they are. The serpent race is death. There you go. Super easy, right? So here's death. Like and there's brainer. the serpent. Well, Where let me show you a picture are. that makes it really clear. There's Yul Brenner. There's a picture for you. And the Ten Commandments. Super great movie. I still love to watch it. And here we go. So 88, 17 JFK. So now let me show you a little thing I put together to make the transition a little bit easier for your brain. So here is a serpent with its mouth open. And here is a part human, part serpent with its mouth open. Yul Brenner giving you the Yul Brenner stare. And the so there's three. One, two, and then Yul Brenner giving you that stare. Ten Commandments. There you go. So that race of beings, their king is the king of death. The pit, the angel of the Colors. bottomless pit. That's their king. You. Now here's someone that's in our <laughs> hemisphere that does the same thing, Lady Gaga. So Lady Gaga is walking around with a serpent on her dress. And if you don't believe that's a serpent, here is a clear plastic layover that. And then the tongue coming out. Along with the street on the outside and the tongue in the middle. Street on the outside, tongue in the middle. Outside, outside, middle. Tongue sticking out. That's on the front of Lady Gaga's dress. Goes up at the top is the spear, spearhead. That I put on her dress. And if you don't think that's a serpent, then you probably don't belong at the yeah. this channel. So let's take it to the Bible. You ready? Let's take Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. The amount of people that one person can be. Really great scene. In the spooky castle and Fred and Thelma stumble across this training video ready i own it the lord has made me just so fluent in their language and in his language understanding the, the word so now i can tie it all together very easily
So I'm just going to inundate you. I'm just going to overflow. Y'all are going to be going like, ah, my God, this is Johnny's world. <laughs> Hopefully everybody will be okay. Imagine that Johnny's world and Johnny's on my side.